Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, it's all about product photography. Are you the light and airy type image type person? Or are you the dark and grungy type? What do you prefer? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take the same setup and make it light and airy or dark and grungy just by doing a little bit of light adjustment. Let's get into it. Like I said, this is all about product photography and taking that one setup to the light and airy, dark and grungy. So whatever your flavor is, this video will help you out. Now the product I'm using today is this Pirate's Life candle from the Magic Candle Company out of Florida. No, I am not sponsored by them, but I ordered it. Oh man, if you are a Walt Disney World or Disneyland fan and have ever been on the ride Pirates of the Caribbean, that's what this smells like. Dirty pirate water. Arr, you can't get any better than that. But that's what the product is. No, I'm not sponsored by them. No, they didn't ask me to do this. This is something that I bought because I'm a huge Disney fan. And I thought, what better to do a shoot with than this? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run a video clip of me, how I set everything all up, and then we can break it all down. So let's get into how we set all this up and made our fake beach. All right, that's a cute little setup we got going on there with a the little pirate chest, the coin, the whole little bit. I think it'll look killer. Now, we're gonna work on the light and airy look first. So let's run this little clip of me setting up the lighting so you can see how all was done. And at the end of the clip, I'll show you the finished image that I took with it. I think that looks awesome. Light and airy came out really well and the candle looks great. All right, for you dark and grungy, the ones that are on the dark side, let's get into the dark and grungy type look now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a little clip showing you how I changed the lighting setup. And that's all we did. We just simply changed our lighting to get the two different effects. So let's get rid of the lighting we had, moving the other type lighting. So let's run this clip and you can see what's going on. Oh, I love that image. Dark, moody, very cool. I really like it. Now, you may be wondering what that little white thing was I was putting in to add a little bit of light on the one side. I needed to make sure that the label was nicely lit up so you could read it properly. And all it is is this little scoop, I forget the actual name of it. It hooks onto the, an Alien B Studio strobe and it'll take the light and bounce it and has a certain radius and fall off with it but I didn't want to bounce a lot of light in and fill in too much on the scene. I just wanted that little bit. So by using this scoop to bounce light, it worked out perfectly just to illuminate the label. So I had it fully lit up. Now the studio is quite a big distance here. So the light fall off from my studio light was pretty good. So I didn't need to add any negative fill. Negative fill, if you've watched this channel before, it's simply a matter of taking like a black card and putting it beside and the black absorbs the light so it doesn't bounce back into the scene, it helps absorb it. I find you have to get fairly close to the subject, but it works out brilliantly. Now, you saw I decreased the light size. I went to a beauty dish. Also, the direction of the light. 
I had the beauty dish turned more away from the background because I didn't want the background to get lit at all. And I just wanted the light to kind of rake across the front here. That's why I got that nice look. But I had to bounce a little back in here and I added the black card just to make sure I wasn't getting any light fall on the back because initially I was getting a little bit of light on the back and I didn't want that. So that's the setup. Now have a look at these images side by side. I love those. I really like both. Let me know what you think down below. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the light and airy or do you prefer the dark and moody? What is your flavor? So, but you can see how easy that is. Not changing our prop setup, simply changing how we light the subject. And you saw it was quite easy to do. We got two totally different looking images out of it. So it's up to you what you prefer. That's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed the pirate candle video, please give it a thumbs up. So, until the next time.